A scientist believes he may have solved the infamous mystery of the Bermuda Triangle, which has been the site of supernatural speculation, plane crashes, and shipwrecks for decades. An oceanographer from the University of Southampton, Dr. Simon Boxall, discovered the region in the Atlantic Ocean has rogue waves, which are a natural ocean phenomena where waves can form around 100 feet high, coming from all angles and are powerful enough to break a ship in half. To test the theory, Dr. Boxall and his team ran a simulation to recreate the USS Cyclops, an American carrier ship that sank in the region in 1918 and took 309 lives. So joining me now is Dr. Simon Boxall. Thank you so much for giving us some of your time today. Okay, explain why your theory of rogue waves makes sense. There are two, two things here. I think the first thing is that rogue waves um, occur around the globe, but there are certain areas of the globe where rogue waves are more common. And rogue waves occur where you get two storm systems coming together, and a typical storm might only produce a wave of maybe 10 or 12 meters. That's about 30 feet. That's a lot. But where you get two storms, and somewhere like uh, Florida, where you have Hurricane Alley, we talked about hurricanes in the last uh, item, um, and you also get storms up in the North Atlantic, sort of off the Grand Banks, we get waves coming together and they combine to create these big rogue waves. Rogue waves don't come out of the blue. They occur in a storm condition. But there's another real reason why, why it's not just about rogue waves. Because there's lots of mysterious disappearances, apparently. But the Bermuda Triangle was only created as a concept by someone called George X. Sand in 1952. Prior to that, there was no real mystery. And we can extend mysteries of the oceans across the entire globe. And there are two interesting facts. The first fact is that 33%, that's a third of all privately registered boats in the United States, are within that Bermuda Triangle area, because the triangle actually extends across to Florida, uh, South Carolina and Georgia, and includes the Bahamas. So a third of all the vessels registered in the U.S., private vessels are in that area. Factoid number two, the U.S. Coast Guard report from 2019, typical year, showed that 82% of all incidents at sea, uh, that's losses of boats, losses of lives, accidents, occurred because people had no training and or no experience. Anyone can go and buy a boat. Anyone can take a 100-foot boat out into the open ocean without any training, without any safety equipment, without radios, without navigation equipment. There's nothing to stop them doing that. And if you take a third of the population and you put them into that triangle area, it's not surprising that boats sometimes go, to go missing. Yeah, no, that, that absolutely does make sense. And, uh, you know, when you said we can extend the mysteries of the ocean across the globe, also, absolutely a valid point. How does this theory, though, account for the planes which have seemingly disappeared and, and the claims that, you know, plane instruments start failing when okay. flying above this area? Yeah, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a, uh, the, the, the famous one here is the uh, flight, um, the, I think it was a, a naval flight um, back in 1949 that went missing. And the argument is that it's a flight of experienced uh, aviators and they shouldn't have got lost and it must be something mysterious, the instruments playing up. The reality is, of course, in 1949, there was no GPS, there was no navigation systems. It was usually, particularly for a solo flight, by eye. In other words, you looked down at the ground beneath and you worked out where you were. Now, that particular flight was actually a training flight. And apart from the trainer themselves, all of the people flying, all of the aviators were actually students. They were, they were novices. And they've been flying, uh, doing some exercises. And the reality is that as they turned to head home, they were using by sight navigation. And uh, the um, trainer was renowned for being a little bit pompous and said, right, we're going this way, chaps. And the um, students actually pointed out that they felt he was wrong. He then berated them for questioning his uh, judgment. And this was actually picked up by radio from the ground station. So they knew that there was some argument about where they were. And it turned out they turned left instead of right and ended up going out into the open sea. And of course, eventually ran out of fuel, 
Small aircraft, huge ocean, the chances of finding them is zero. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact-based, unbiased news for all Americans.